While investigating temporal anomalies along the Dorset coast, Kate discovered records of a similar incident in 1972, which stated that Joe Grant would give her life to save the world, prompting her to request Joe's assistance. During the investigation, Joe and Kate were pulled through one of the rifts and sent back to 1972, where they met the third doctor as he investigated the original anomaly. In an attempt to preserve the timeline, Kate just introduced herself as the head of unit in the future, and she and Joe assisted the doctor in setting up the equipment to shut down the anomalies. While the doctor and Joe went off to have a meal, Kate was tricked into reprogramming the doctor's equipment by a voice posing as Osgood from the future. As the doctor devised a new solution, Kate was convinced to explain the situation to her father over the radio, as the doctor had worked out her true identity. Although she never revealed her true name, Kate told her father that it was an honor to work with him, and briefly broke down sobbing when her father ended the call by telling her that the future of UNIT was clearly in good hands. After the anomalies were stopped when Joe apparently sacrificed herself, Kate returned to the future, where she and Osgood received a letter from the doctor which gave them the necessary equations to retrieve Joe from the time vortex. Audio. The sacrifice of Joe Grant. She investigated her own murder when her body was discovered within a power station. She was suspicious of the director, known as River Song. However, the director was in fact a Wampyrix battle queen masquerading as River Song, intent on feeding off the energy of the earth. The real River Song aided Kate and Osgood in defeating the Wampyrix. Audio, The Power of River Song. 